week 12 of the fantasy football season. And here's a few running backs I looked at on the wire this week. The first guy, Samashi P. Ryan of the Cincinnati Bengals. So P. Ryan, he's been one of the best backups in pro football this season at the running back position. And Joe Mixon, he left the week 11's ball game with a possible concussion. So right now, P. Ryan available in tons of leagues in 92%. And he easily is going to be the pickup of the week. There's a possibility Mixon definitely could play in week 12, obviously, at Tennessee. If he clears the concussion protocols, if he has one. But in week 11 at Pittsburgh, what a monster game it was for him. 11 carries, 30 rush yards, 4 catches, 52 yards, and 3 receiving touchdowns on some screens and wheel routes. So P. Ryan, we know he's a physical running back. We know he's a guy that can handle a full workload, obviously, if Joe Mixon's out. And this season, he's really showed this prowess as a receiver out of the backfield as well with limited work, obviously, behind Mixon. So if Mixon's got to miss a week or two, even, this guy's a top pickup. And at crunch time now with three weeks left before the fantasy playoffs here, P. Ryan's definitely a running back to go out there and get for fantasy owners this week and the pickup of the week. The next guy, Latavius Murray of the Denver Broncos. I've mentioned Murray a couple times over the last few weeks here. And he just doesn't get the respect for fantasy owners right now. Is Murray available in tons of fantasy leagues in 77%? And he's a guy pretty much weekly, you're going to get 7 to 10 fantasy points minimum from Latavius. So the last few weeks here for him, week 8 at Jacksonville, 14 carries, 46 yards, a touchdown, a catch for 13 yards. Week 10 at Tennessee, 9 carries, 24 yards. Three catches, 23 yards. And week 11 versus the Raiders, a big workload. 17 carries, 49 yards, a touchdown. And four catches for 23 yards. So we saw Chase Edmonds go down in that week 11 game versus the Raiders. And we don't know how long he could possibly be out or he's day-to-day is Chase Edmonds. And Melvin Gordon didn't look that great. So once again, Latavius Murray looking like the better running back. And obviously goal line back over there in Denver. And he's definitely a running back to get on the wire this week. Is a decent flex option or low end number two running back in a decent matchup at Carolina in week 12. The next running back I look to get on the Y this week's James Cook of the Buffalo Bills. So right now, Singletary and Cook, one and two obviously over there in the backfield. But the last couple weeks here, Cook's workload's gone up a little bit more weekly as the backup running back. And now on a short week at Detroit, I could see him definitely getting more work as well. So the last few games here for Cook, week nine, at the Jets, four carries, 15 yards, two catches, 18 yards. Week 10 versus the Vikings, five carries, 22 yards. And week 11 versus the Browns in that one, 11 carries, 86 yards on two targets. So like I'm saying, if this guy could get 10, 12 touches a game, I think he's a decent flex option in 12-team leagues or deeper is James Cook. And right now he's available still in tons of fantasy leagues right now. In 83% of leagues, the next running back is Cam Akers of the Los Angeles Rams. So Cam Akers, it looks like he could be the guy over there now after Darrell Henderson barely did anything with 0.9 fantasy points in that Week 11 game. And Cam Akers obviously leading the backfield with Kyron Williams mixed in a well. 14 carries, 61 yards in Week 11 at the New Orleans Saints. So right here, Akers, we know he sat out a few games. They're looking to trade him away at the deadline, but that didn't come to fruition. And the last few games since he's been inserted back, is Akers week 10 versus Arizona, six carries, 22 yards, and then week 11 in New Orleans, 14 carries, 61 yards. So, right now, available in 73 percent of fantasy leagues. Here is Akers, he's definitely a guy that obviously you're going to want to stash on your team. I'm not going to say go out there and start him, but he's a starting running back, it looks like, in this league, and you should own him in most fantasy leagues. Right now, is Cam Akers because of that role and the fifth and final running back. I look to get on the wire this week's Rashad White of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So Rashad White, he's out there in only 40% of fantasy leagues here. And this is the last week, obviously, for fantasy owners to go out there and get him. And right now, the reports have come out earlier last week that he expects to hold the starting job and at least split, obviously, with Leonard Fournette. And White had his best game of his young career in Week 10 in Seattle with a full workload, 22 carries, 105 yards. So over the last few weeks, Obviously, the workload's gone up for White. And after the bye week, most rookies get into month and more into the playbook and get more playing time. And that's what we're going to see with White. So a good matchup in Week 12 at Cleveland that gives up the second most fantasy points to running backs on the season here. Right now, available in 40% of fantasy leagues here. This is the last week to get White because if he has another blow-up game, he's not going to be out there at all. So that's a few running backs I look to get on the wire for Week 12 of the fantasy football season.